हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टूडे वी आर लर्निंग अबाउट ल्यूकोसाइटोसिस इंक्रीज इन डब्ल्यू बी सी काउंट इज कॉल्ड ल्यूकोसाइटोसिस फर्स्ट वी शुड नो नॉर्मल रेफरेंस रेंज फॉर ल्यूकोसाइट काउंट इन एडल्ट डब्ल्यू बी सी काउंट इज नॉर्मल वैन फोर थाउजेंड टू टेन थाउजेंड पर माइक्रोलीटर न्यूट्रोफिल वैन एब्सोल्यूट न्यूट्रोफिल काउंट इज टू थाउजेंड टू सेवन थाउजेंड पर माइक्रोलीटर लिम्फोसाइट एब्सोल्यूट लिम्फोसाइट काउंट इज वन थाउजेंड टू थ्री थाउजेंड पर माइक्रोलीटर इोसिनोफिल एब्सोल्यूट इोसिनोफिल काउंट इज ट्वेंटी टू फाइव हंड्रेड पर माइक्रोलीटर मोनोसाइट एब्सोल्यूट मोनोसाइट काउंट इज टू हंड्रेड टू वन थाउजेंड पर माइक्रोलीटर बेजोफिल एब्सोल्यूट बेजोफिलिक काउंट इज ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड पर माइक्रोलीटर Elevated WBC count physiologically seen in newborn, infant, in early childhood, and in pregnancy. So, determining the leukocytosis in this type of patient, the age-specific reference range should be used. What is leukocyte? Any cell that are present in maturation series of myeloblast, monoblast, and lymphoid lineages are called leukocyte. and leukocytosis is classified according to the cell lineages involved in the elevation of the wbc count for example neutrophilic leukocytosis when there is increased in the absolute neutrophilic count more than 7000 per microliter in adult along with total wbc count is more than 10000 per microliter this may be along with increase in the mature as well as premature cells the cause of leukocytosis are many including malignant and non malignant conditions most common non malignant cause of leukocytosis is infection like in bacterial infection neutrophilic leukocytosis is observed in some viral infection lymphocytic leukocytosis seen example is infectious mononucleosis neutrophilia when absolute neutrophil count is more than 7000 per microliter then it is called neutrophilia the reactive causes of neutrophilia are infections mainly bacterial viral mycobacterial inflammation drugs like corticosteroids myeloid growth factors like gm csf hemorrhage and splenectomy reactive conditions like infection they show some changes in the neutrophil and they are toxic granulation dole bodies and cytoplasmic vacuoles are noted in the neutrophil in case of leukocytosis the peripheral smear examination is the most important to identify the possible condition example when increase amount of immature neutrophilic precursor in peripheral blood smear is found they can be seen in the leukemoid reaction as well as malignant condition like chronic myeloid leukemia leukemoid reaction is called when persistent elevation of leukocyte count around 50000 per microliter and increase in the neutrophilic series of cells usually more mature and few immature cells total count may vary from 50000 to 1 lakh per microliter and the causes are infection mainly bacterial acute stress response and drug induced like corticosteroids There are changes like toxic granules, vacuolization, dole bodies are seen. Lab score is high, and after treatment, usually count becomes normal. When shift to left plus nucleated RBC seen on the peripheral blood smear, it is called leukoerythroblastic reaction. the causes of leukoerythroblastic reactions are severe infection septicemia hemorrhage shock and leading to acute stress response and malignancy like myeloproliferative neoplasm leukemia myelofibrosis and metastasis which causes marrow infiltration 
malignant causes of neutrophilic leukocytosis is myeloproliferative neoplasm like CML. Anemia, leukocytosis and splenomegaly is usually seen in the CML. Three phases of CML is identified, chronic phases, accelerator phase and the blast phase. When leukocytosis, it is neutrophilic leukocytosis with all type of immature cells are seen from myeloblast to band cells and blast is usually less than 2% in chronic phase. And characteristic basophilia and eosinophilia is also seen. Lab score is low. When blast in the blood and the marrow is 10 to 19%, then it is called accelerated phase. When the blast is more than 20%, then it is called the blast phase of CML. All patients with characteristic finding on the complete blood count and peripheral smear suggesting chronic myeloleukemia should always be evaluated through FISH for BCR-ABL1 fusion or PCR for confirmation. Eosinophilia when absolute eosinophil count in peripheral blood is more than 500 per microliter, it is called eosinophilia. And eosinophilia is categorized into the three different categories. It is a mild, moderate and severe. When absolute eosinophil count is 500 to 1500 per microliter, it is called mild eosinophilia. When absolute eosinophil count is 1500 to 5000 per microliter, it is called the moderate eosinophilia. And when absolute eosinophil count is more than 5000 per microliter, it is called the severe eosinophilia. The reactive causes of eosinophilia are parasitic infection, allergic condition, hypersensitivity disease, connective tissue disorders, Hyper eosinophilic syndrome. Malignant causes are lymphoma like Hodgkin's lymphoma, myeloid neoplasm with eosinophilia, eosinophilic leukemia. When clonality and blasts are seen along with PDGFRA, PDGFRB and FGFR1 mutations, then it is usually associated with myeloid neoplasm with eosinophilia. And when these mutations are excluded and clonality and blast are seen, then they favor the diagnosis of chronic eosinophilic leukemia. And when no blast, no clonality, no reactive causes are found, and then persistent eosinophilia for at least 6 months with organ involvement is seen. This favors the diagnosis of hyper eosinophilic syndrome. So it is a diagnosis of exclusion. Basophilia. When absolute basophilic count is more than 200 per microliter, it is called the basophilia. The reactive causes of basophilia are allergic condition, chronic inflammation, autoimmune disease and drug induced. Malignant causes are CML, polycythemia vera, AML, essential thrombocythemia. Splenomegaly is seen with basophilia. This may indicate myeloproliferative neoplasm. If basophilia is associated with shift to left in neutrophilic series, then further investigations should be suggested like FISH for a BCR ABL1 to rule out chronic myeloleukemia. In any patient who has basophilia more than 6 months should undergo diagnostic workup. First, we have to rule out any drug injection, any systemic infection or any allergy and then patients should be evaluated for CML or AML and other neoplasms like polycythemia, vera, myelofibrosis, essential thrombocythemia. Lymphocytosis. When absolute lymphocyte count is more than 3500 per microliter, then it is called the lymphocytosis. And along with lymphocytosis, when WBC count is more than 10,000 per microliter, then it is called lymphocytic leukocytosis. The reactive cause 
of lymphocytosis is mainly viral infection an example is epstein barr virus the infection is also called the infectious mononucleosis in this the peripheral blood shows lymphocytosis and on smear we can detect large reactive atypical lymphocytes their cytoplasm is pale blue and abundant and deeply basophilic at the rim and indentation of the cytoplasm of lymphocyte by surrounding rbc give characteristic appearance to the lymphocyte and lymphocytosis may be seen in the other infections like pertussis varicella tuberculosis it can be due to drug induced or can be seen in the acute stress response persistent lymphocytosis is seen along with monoclonal lymphocyte this suggests the malignancy example is chronic lymphoproliferative disorders like cll in this lymphocytic leukocytosis is seen along with mature looking lymphocytic proliferation the cells are round with small nuclei with coarse clumpy chromatin and frequent smudge cells are seen such type of lymphocytic proliferation is seen on the peripheral smear then the case should be evaluated by flow cytometry for confirmation other type of chronic lymphoproliferative disorders is large granular lymphocytic leukemia when persistence of large granular lymphocytosis anemia and neutropenia are seen this suggests the possibility of t cell large granular lymphocytic leukemia and that should be evaluated by flow cytometry and tcr gene rearrangement other type is splenic marginal zone lymphoma in this findings are splenomegaly anemia thrombocytopenia and villus cytoplasmic projections which are characteristically bipolar other type is hairy cell leukemia in this spiky cytoplasmic projections are seen all around the periphery of the cell and monocytopenia is seen other examples are mantle cell lymphoma burkitt's lymphoma large cell lymphoma and follicular lymphoma blood count and peripheral smear suggest any of the above malignant conditions then further evaluation must be done like flow cytometry and molecular genetic study for confirmation monocytosis when absolute monocyte count is more than 1000 per microliter then it is called the monocytosis the reactive causes of monocytosis are chronic infection autoimmune disorders splenectomy regenerating bone marrow after the bone marrow transplantation or after the chemotherapy a malignant causes of monocytosis is leukemia lymphoma or myelodysplastic syndrome myeloproliferative neoplasm like cmml persistent monocytosis raises the suspicion of cmml jmml or atypical cml and other myeloproliferative neoplasm evaluation should be done like bone marrow examination chromosomal studies and molecular genetic studies for confirmation blast cell they are the large immature cells having high nc ratio when leukocytosis thrombocytopenia anemia seen along with the blast like cells or blast cells in the peripheral smear examination it suggests acute leukemia or neoplasm when blast count is more than 20% in the peripheral smear it is called the acute leukemia among the acute leukemia apml is very important and emergency diagnosis is required in such cases apml is acute promyelocytic leukemia there are two types of apml one is hypergranular and second is hypogranular hypergranular variant shows hypergranular blast with bilobe nuclei and many fine cytoplasmic granules with or rod in the cytoplasm 
in hypogranular variant a granular blast are seen typical with folded nuclei they should be confirmed by flow cytometry and they should be treated with atra or trans retinoic acid blood product support and chemotherapy APML cause coagulopathy and there are high chances of bleeding and this bleeding complications may be fatal. So urgent diagnosis is required in such cases. This is a brief description about leukocytosis. Thank you.